outsourcing is work done for a company by people other than the company's full-time employees, every outsourcing program, regardless of the organization's size, will move through these seven stages of the outsourcing process. Now, stage one, assessment of the business needs and your sourcing strategy. Stage two, defining the scope of work. Three, selection of your vendors. Stage four, negotiating and procuring the contract. Stage five, project initiation and transitioning. Stage six, managing the service delivery. Stage seven, exiting or transferring the contract. We'll now take a look at what each of these seven stages entail. Now let's dive into stage one, which is assessment of your business needs and the right sourcing strategy. Now this is the most crucial stage in the entire process, largely because an inaccurate assessment of your business core needs will lead to inaccurate solutions and you don't want that to happen. Failing to do this can have unforeseen consequences down the line with the worst possible scenario being choosing the wrong partner or contractual structure to implement the needed change. Now, after accurate diagnosis, management must take the time to strategize on how exactly it intends to meet the need in a cost-efficient and highly effective manner. In trying to decide between insourcing and outsourcing, it's usually helpful to ask these questions. The first question to ask is, what evidence do you have to prove that insourcing would offer better value in terms of quality of solution delivery and cost efficiency? And the second question, are there developed resources within your organization to provide the solutions at a high level? If after careful consideration, the decision is to outsource the solution, the next step is to conduct a benefit risk analysis. After this analysis has been done, if the option still stands to outsource the work, then stage two kicks in immediately. In my next video, I'll be sharing more insights on the other stages of the outsourcing process.